Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can create a calculated column on the SharePoint list library. Um, so we can actually create lots of different metadata columns, different types of columns uh, in SharePoint. Uh, if you hover over the add column, um, you know, drop down, we, we can create different types of columns. We can create a text column and location, number, date and time, drop down, you know, choice column currency, etc. Uh, one of the columns we can also create is called calculated column. It's not on this list. Uh, we kind of have to go behind the scenes to create it. So it's, it might not be obvious, uh, but we can create this as well. So first of all, what is a calculated column? A calculated column is essentially a column that is referencing other columns. It's a column that is based on mathematical formula. And what you can do, you can pretty much, you know, um, create formulas and reference other columns uh, within your list of library to calculate a new value uh, for that column. So uh, for the first example, I would like to show you, I would like to give you two examples. For the first one, uh, we're going to do something really simple. Um, so I have this library of company policies with a few pieces of metadata. One of them is the expiration date. All right, and what I want to do is create another column that will calculate the expiration reminder date, which will be 30 days prior to this date. So essentially it's going to be expiration date minus 30. All right, so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and create one. So uh, add a column again, we need to click more because uh, we need to go behind the scenes to create it. And here we go. Uh, we are going to give it a name. Um, here we go. Perfect. Now we have to choose this calculated uh, radio button over here. Again, it's not available on kind of on the previous screen. And when you do that, you will see this field over here. This is where the formula goes. Now, if you know the syntax, you can you know start typing it in, but you can also, um, you know, we have this other portion where we can actually choose the existing columns we can reference. So the formula again is expiration date minus 30. All right, so it's 30 days prior to expiration date. So I'm going to double click here and then minus 30. Perfect. All right, so, and then the only other thing we need to do is over here, we need to select the proper uh, type of the output. Uh, in our case, we are calculating, you know, the new date field. So that's exactly what we're going to choose. Here we go. And let's click okay, let's see what happens. Here we go, here is our new column that got created and if you notice, the dates over here are exactly 30 days prior to the expiration date, all right? So that was example no, uh, number one, nice and simple. Uh, the other example is going to be a little bit more advanced. I want to create another column that will tell users whether or, or not uh, we need to update uh, the uh, policy or not uh, based on some comparison. So the comparison I want to do, I want to compare the expiration date and modified date if the modified date is less than the expiration date. Um, so what I want to do is I want to create a, a status which will say update. And if it's the other way around, it will say do not update. All right, so let's go ahead and create one. So again, I'm going to compare expiration date and modified date, which actually you cannot see, but obviously we have the modified date column at the system field, right? So I want to compare, you know, essentially when it was last modified with the expiration date that we have here. So again, we are going to create a new column, more, and we are going to, um, you know, this is going to be the name we're going to give it, update status, uh, and then again, calculated column. Um, so uh, we have to do the if statement, uh, just like in Excel. All right, here we go. And then this is the syntax, we have to do parentheses. And then uh, the formula I'm going to do is this. So I'm going to compare modified date, all right? If that's less than the expiration date, here we go. Again, I just double click and it auto populates it for me. Then we are going to say update and we have to enclose it uh, in this brackets over here. All right, here we go. And we are going to say this update. Else, all right, else, um, if it's the other way around, right? If modified date is more than the expiration date, we are going to say, uh, do not touch it, do not update, all right? Here we go. 
perfect. And then don't forget, uh, we need to close the brackets here again. All right, I think our syntax is good. I mean, if you do have syntax issues, it will obviously tell you uh, and advise you. Uh, and in this case, the output is just a text string. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's see what happens. Here we go, perfect. So look at this, my column has been created. All right, so, and again, for those policies uh, where the uh, modified date uh, is uh, less than the expiration date, uh, we essentially say do not update, all right? And for those policies uh, where it's the other way around, you know, this is the policies we need to update. Uh, essentially, we uh, we now have the status of the status telling us to update it. All right. So uh, again, I mean, it's it was not an advanced example by any means, but uh, hopefully it gives you a sense of what can be done with this calculated columns. Now, if you are comfortable doing formulas in Excel, you will have no issues creating your formulas uh, in in SharePoint. And there are some great resources out there on the web uh, regarding the proper syntax as well as some limitations. Uh, of calculated columns, I will make sure to include those uh, in the video description uh, so you can check it out. All right, so uh, that's all I wanted to cover today. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.